Hi, welcome to an NX12 video tutorial. I want to do the drawings of an assembly of which one? Let's take a look. Let's switch to modeling of that assembly. I want to make all the drawings, especially those of the parts. So what do we have here? We have an isometric view, we have a section view, and it's a section view with line segments. We have some surface finish symbols. Then we have that projection angle symbol. We got a baseline dimension, some fits, some threads, and hidden lines are visible. So that's a farm with Siemens and X. Let's start by inserting a new sheet. I will go for use templates. I've got that frame and that header. I want to go for A3 size, yes. And note, I cannot change the projection angle. Right now I will do it afterwards. And OK. You could fill in those attributes. Close. Now I can change that. So we'll go to the sheet, sorry, to sheet 2, and edit sheet. And now I can change the projection angle. OK, let's start with the base view. And I want only the ground plate. So I select the ground plate and got the ground plate. I want the top view, that's OK. And I want it 1 to 2 scale. And just put it right there. You could do a projected view, but I would just close it. Now for the projected view, go to project and put it here. Close this one. Maybe move it a little bit over here. OK. Now I want a section view. Go here. Let's zoom in. Let's snap here and don't don't click. Move over here so I got that point and click. That would be the midpoint right here. So now I could select my view direction. Not really, but it's easier to move it up here. Otherwise, it will be a little bit irritating. So move up here. And I want to add section line segments. Just select from the inside that circle, from the inside, from the inside. And that's OK. And you can move it. I can move it afterwards as well. That's OK. Right click and go for view origin. And now you could change the orientation but I want it to be that way. And close. Let's move that up here. And maybe this a little bit up as well. OK. Now let's add some center lines. There is already one. Very small. Let's see if we can select it. Yes. Not really. Seems that's just a sort of a bug right here. I need center lines. So go for center lines. I want a center line here. And you could set the extensions individually if you activate this one, or you could just draw it like that. Put another one, apply here, and one here. Now I want to move those arrows individually, maybe like that, and OK. Let's add my last view. That would be 
an isometric view, so I will go for a new base view, select the ground plate, go to isometric, change the scale and put it over there and escape. Now let's add a center line here. So go for a 2D center line between this line and that line. And OK. Now for the dimensions, let's start with the baseline here. If you want to use the baseline, go to Linear, select Baseline. You could go for Chain or None. Select Baseline. And it should be horizontal aligned. Not vertical, but horizontal. And I will start with the center point. Then go to this one or that one. Let's go to this one, that one, and this one. Close. And if you want to move it, you have to move the first. You cannot move this one, but you have to grab the first one and move it down and all the others will adjust. Now I will need another baseline up here. I could do it. So go here, change it from horizontal to vertical. And that would be the baseline, one line, second line and close. Now let's go for our rapid dimension. Inferred, yes, that's OK. Select, select, move it here. Then I need one from this one to that one. Drag it over here and you see it will snap on in certain distances. Now I need a horizontal one, so go for horiz no vertical one, sorry. And I want to use these points. Sorry, I lost it somehow. Point, point, move it here, close, right click, edit appended text and just add that diameter symbol and close. Now let's add from this center point to that center point. That's 150, yes. I need a cylindrical one, so go for cylindrical from this line to that line. Okay. I need an inferred one from that center point to this center point and you could align it with this one okay another inferred one From this one to that one. And I want to add fit. So go here, H7, switch to 11, like this. Now 
this one should be seven like that and as I've imported those parts from Katia there are no threads but I could fake those threads so just click click of course it should be no fit put it up there and another one up here close now let's go to uh, where is it not edit dependent text but to the settings and somewhere with the units yes now orientation location format format you can overwrite the dimension text and this should be M12, oh, M10, sorry. And this one should be M12. And close. So what's missing? My hidden lines are missing. So double click go to common hidden lines and change it from make sure it's process hidden lines go from invisible to the dashed one apply and my hidden lines are visible as well let's add another cylindrical dimension from this line to that line let's move this a little bit yeah now some surface surface finishing symbols one here so go to that symbol and you have to change it from plane or all around to flag and this would be 1.6 and material removal yes and put it onto that line flag yes seems I'm not able to select That's wrong. I'll try once more. Is there another switch? Flag. Well, everything's okay. And just put it there and drag it up. close I think there are some here as well so go again go for not but with parentheses both put this one here and I need another one 3.2 and none and you could align them by moving here to that point and then drag it over here and okay and i think i'm done yes so hope you enjoyed this one if you did please give it a like or leave a comment if you want to see more please give it a like or leave a comment Please subscribe to my YouTube channel. Please subscribe to my Facebook cat fan page. Would be very nice of you. I want to get more likes and subscriptions over there as well. Thanks for watching. See you to the next one. Bye bye.